Hi, I'm Faith Miller and I've got some quick tips about Blackboard Ultra. When adding content in the Ultra course view, you can embed files directly in the document which allows students to view them in order with your desired content. This makes for a more seamless course. For example, you can include introductory text for a lesson, an audio file of a lecture, and an image. And an easy way to do this is all by adding a document to your course. When students select the document title, the materials that you added are all presented together in one place. Students see the content just as you see it, only they don't have the editing options. Let's start in the course where you want to add the content. Log into Blackboard, find your course, and select it. Now that we're in our course content page, we're going to select a plus sign where we want to add this document. So I'm going to scroll down and I want to add it right here. So I'm going to select the plus sign. Now I'm going to select Create to open the Create Item menu. The menu opens on the right side of the screen. You will then select Document. And then over here on the top left, you want to give your document a name. I'm going to name mine Lesson 1. then hit enter. Now we can add our content. So what do you want to add? We'll click add content and see what our options are. The types of content that you can add to a document include text, audio and video files from YouTube or Kaltura, other files, tables, and even math formulas. To add text, simply click in the content editor box and begin typing the text you want to add. You can change the size of the text, the text style, the font, and the color. Let's explore how to add audio or video files from Kaltura. Simply select the insert content, scroll down, select content market, once you open the content market, you will scroll down and choose Kaltura Master. As this opens up, you'll be able to choose your audio or video file that you want to include in your lesson. Once you find the video file that you want to add, simply select Embed, and it will embed the file where you want it to be. You can change the name of the file or leave it the same. I'm going to delete that and click insert. Now I have my text and my video file right there in line with what needs to be done. To add a video from YouTube, select the insert content button, select YouTube video, then you can type in the name of the video that you want to search for. Hit enter to search, scroll through, find the video that you want to add, and press select. You'll have the option to change the alternative text or the name of the video link on the screen. You can display it as a link, or the video will open up in the window in line with the content. Select insert when finished, and there is your video from YouTube. Now let's insert an image or other file type. Make sure you select in the content box where you want that file to appear. Then select the attachment paperclip icon. Choose your image or file. Once you select the image or file you want to add, you can change the display name. If you want to display it, you can make it to where the students can view and download, view only or download only. For this one, I'm gonna choose view only. Select save. 
And there's my image right there in between the two videos where I put it. Now I'll show you how to add a table. I'm going to put a table right here below the text that we entered earlier. Simply select create or edit table, select your table size, and click your mouse when you're done. Then you have your table. You can add your titles or the information in your table based on what you need. Once you've added all the content that you want to add, make sure you hit save when you're finished. And that will save everything that you put into your document in the order that you put it in. So when students log in to view it, they see everything just like this. Thanks for watching this quick tip video. Bye.